Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Authentication verifies the identity of a user. It is the process of determining if a person is who he says he is. Today, I like to talk about five common factors of authentication: what you know, what you have, what you are, what you do, and where you are. At the end of the video, I will test your knowledge with one of the CompTIA Security Plus questions. What do you know? The first and most common factor of authentication is based on what you know, knowledge such as your password, PIN, and secure question like in what city were you born. What is the name of your favorite pet? What was your favorite food as a child, etc. The second common authentication method is based on what you have, possession, like a token. A token is a small device with window display showing one-time passcodes or OTPs, or time-based one-time password. TOTP, both OTPs and TOTP are valid for short time, like 30 seconds or 60 seconds. They are normally used when we log onto a website with your password. Smart card. Smart card contains a chip that can hold information to be used as a part of authentication process. For example, personal identity verification card. But nowadays, cell phones are replacing tokens or smart cards, and normally you can get all this code, one-time pass code, through text messaging. What you are biometrics. The third authentication is based on what you are. Biometrics. Biometrics authentication is considered one of the most effective ways of identification and authentication. It's based on the physical traits such as fingerprints, facial features, retina iris, hand geometry, or DNA. This type of authentication is becoming more common in our daily life. Touch ID, face ID, fingerprints, facial scanning are some biometric examples. We may use smartphones. What you do, behaviors. The fourth authentication is based on the user's unique actions, behaviors. For example, voice recognition, speech pattern, and rhythms. Voice is unique to an individual and cannot be duplicated. Sometimes the voice is considered as biometrics. Keystroke dynamics, typing rhythm and patterns, the time it takes to press and release a key, and a type at different paces. Where you are, geolocation. The fifth type of authentication is based on the location of person or device. Geolocation. Geolocation may not be uniquely identify the user, but it can help to prevent hacker from performing malicious action at location different from the normal location. For example, if someone log into your Google account in a different location. You will get a security notice asking about that activity. Many websites do not allow a user to access account at different locations. This type of authentication is helpful to prevent remote attacks. Multi-factor authentication. Using one type authentication is called single-factor. Authentication using more than one type is called multi-factor authentication. 
One of the most common multi-factor authentications is a password and one-time code sent via smartphone or email. Now let me test your knowledge with one of the CompTIA Security Plus questions. Pause the video and here's the answer. Retina scan is what you are. A smart card is what you have. Hardware token is what you have. Password is what you know. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.